Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in this particular video I am going to discuss one practice problem based on the concept of gradient descent whatever I have shown you in my previous video. So one very important point I want to discuss that is I have shown you this particular note where suppose we are having some uh, function y and x like this and uh, we are first initially assuming some random value of x and then using the decreasing value of gradient we eventually reach at the minimum point right and I have shown like here initial case and then gradually we are using each time in iteration we are updating like this x equal to x naught minus eta into gradient where eta is some small value okay now what will happen see this particular figure consider so as uh, suppose here initially we are taking this as x naught so we are uh, keep on reaching towards this minimum now suppose your learning rate is high okay learning rate is this one okay this eta is called learning rate this small value okay now this becomes high and in a particular current iteration you are at this particular point which is very close to your uh, minimum point now as the learning rate is high you it may happen that you may in the next iteration you may go here okay and then due to some particular data points what will happen this system may lead to some uh, a system which is not a balanced okay so what will happen eventually gradient suppose in the next iteration you are reaching here in the next iteration you are reaching here in the next iteration you are reaching here that is eventually graduate uh, gradient will increase because here you can see the slope is increasing so grad, gradient will keep on increasing okay so this particular system will be termed as unstable system if this such situation arises so always Keep this concept in mind whenever you are using gradient descent concept then always keep your learning rate that is this particular eta value very very small then only your uh, uh, particular uh, that particular algorithm will converge to minimum okay so with that let me show you one example so see here CLC clear all close all and then format long then I am uh, getting the figure window and I am using pause 5 just to show you the simulation if you want you can decrease the pause part suppose pause 3 also you can do and then one large data set we have taken the same code I will be posting in the description box so no need to worry about data set you will be getting there okay all right now what we are doing first column we are taking as x second column we are taking as y and then we are applying same gradient descent algorithm as I have shown you the code in my earlier video. Just modification is I am taking now 6000 times I am doing the iteration for our particular this particular data sample and my learning rate I have taken very very small 0 0.0000001 ok. So this will this should not uh, lead to some unstable system if it leads to some unstable system then we have to further decrease the learning rate okay and each time we are plotting the uh, particular straight line which is basically trying to fit our data point and draw now limit rate is for animation purpose if you simply use draw now you will be getting animation but that will be very slow animation so make it first forward mode i am using limit rate okay axis i am using and for the last uh, figure i will not uh, delete that particular plot apart from that for all that case i will delete rs where rs is basically our plotted line that's all so let me just run the code Control a evaluate selection okay so if i get the figure window i will be getting this kind of data points and see this is our learning curve which is gradually uh, in each iteration it is trying to fit our data point more accurately and eventually by the time 6000 iteration it will reach it will fit in our data set properly see it is almost done uh, it will take some more iterations and see our data point is basically our least square fit using gradient descent method is this one okay for this particular data point it is a beautiful uh, visualization or animation we can say uh, you can have a try some different way you can try and if you implement in some other way if you vis can visualize some other way don't forget to post that idea in the comment section and if you find this video helpful please like share and comment and if you have not subscribed to our channel till now don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification of all latest videos thank you for watching